The one two again. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. The ball game is over. Joey Ryan gets the five out save. The 0 1. In the air to right center field. That drops for a base hit. Pinckney in to score. It's a one run game. Chestnut over there at third. And here comes Corey Collins. On a 1 0 pitch, Stovall lifts this ball deep to right center field. Roden giving chase, and it is gone. Peyton Stovall. The 0 2 pitch. He throws him with a breaking ball. What an effort there by Summers. Still scoreless as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Seventh strikeout for Summers. John will be back after this. The 2 0. High fly ball to right center field towards the gap. Feeling for the wall is Horvath, and he makes the catch. Tagging and scoring is McKenzie from third. Mooney's rounding third from second. He's going to try to score. He is in there safely. Alex Mooney from second base. My goodness. It's 9-3 to three Falmouth in the bottom of the sixth inning. Throwing Orleans. Um. Here's a drive into left center field towards the gap. That'll split it. Mooney into score. Here comes Stovall. And he's in to score standing up. It's a two-run double for Andrew Pinckney. Welcome back to Gov Fuller Field. I had to throw in that roll doors to born assistant coach and world champion Jared Saltalamacchia as we are scoreless here in the bottom of the first inning. It's going to be Nelson Berkwich, the left-handed pitcher from Vanderbilt, and he has had a very fine campaign in the 2022 season for the Braves. No decisions thus far in four games. He has not started it's his first start of the 2022 season. 1-4-5 ERA, 12 and a third of work, 15 strikeouts. He's walked three, given up seven hits. The only runs he has given up were against the Yarmouth Dennis Red Sox. And the Falmouth Commodores are actually facing him for a second time back in that boring one to nothing defeat. That was the last time we saw this left-handed pitcher as Alex Mooney leads things off for the Falmouth Commodores. The shortstop from Duke in his traditional spot. He sends this one in the air to center. Rockefort coming in and he makes the catch. And just like that, Mooney is retired. Falmouth Commodore starting lineup, as you just saw Mooney, the leadoff batter. It's going to be Colby Halter in the two spot, as always. Peyton Stovall batting third. Jacob Walsh, who is DHing today, is batting cleanup. Andrew Pinckney batting fifth. Drew Brutcher, Josiah Cromwick, Anthony McKenzie, and Luke Boyers. So now here is Colby Halter. Just like that, Berkwich with one pitch, one out. So quick at bats in the first parts of this outing. The first pitch to Halter is inside, 1-0. Back in the top of the first inning, Grayson hit, retired the first batter he saw on three pitches. On a 1-0 pitch, Halter looks at a breaking ball and it's in there for strike number one. And that was nasty from Burke, which in the early going, this guy's been a bullpen stopper this summer, now starting for the first time. Halter swung through that one, one and two the count. Took a little something off of that one, not necessarily a big break on that thing, but a little bit of a change perhaps. And tied him up, up and in on the hands. And now he's got him down in two strikes. He certainly got the bullpen stuff so far. Well, Halter took a chop at that one just to stay alive. We'll do the one, two again. Halter has struck out 21 times this season, but leads the Falmouth Commodores in batting average. Comes into today hitting 306. On a one two pitch, Halter sends this ball in the air to left. Slight makes the catch. Two gone here in the bottom of the first inning. The born defense, Hensler at third base, Peck at short, Evelyn over there at second. Chris Brito at first base, and then outfield left to right. Slight, we just saw make the catch. And then Rockefort, and then Jones as Alan Espinal is the catcher for Berkwich. So now here's Peyton Stovall. 
Sends this one up the middle and through for a base hit. Both teams having some uh, two out singles, if you will, as that'll send up Jacob Walsh with two gone. That's the first hit against left-handed pitching for Peyton Stovall this mm. summer. Doors have struggled as a team against Southpaw so far, but Stovall, like Mooney was before him, being aggressive early in the at-bat. And now he's got a two-out knock to show for it. Mentioned the first pitch, liking to attack. Back in the first inning, Chris Brito with two outs, attacked on the second pitch and delivered a two-out single. Walsh sends this one foul out of play. Nothing in one. Walsh, who is DHing today, rocking the high socks. I don't think we've seen the high socks look from Walshie this summer. Trying to extend this inning. On an L1 pitch, he'll look at a breaking ball that gets in there for strike number two. Saw Grayson hit back in the first inning. He got one strikeout. Berkowitz looking for his first one. It could be with two outs. 0-2 oh, is ripped into right field for a base hit. Back-to-back -back singles for the Falmouth Commodores. And that's going to send up Andrew Pinckney. Well, you don't want to take numbers too seriously if we're only in the first inning of this game, but that snaps an 0-for-25 streak against left-handers for Jacob Walsh. First hit this summer for two different guys on back-to-back -back at bats, Stovall and now Walsh. And now here's a guy you want up against lefties because Pinckney hasn't faced a lot of them, but he's seven for his first 16 with a pair of home runs against them this summer. Most notable home run off a of lefty was against the Hyannis Harbor Hawks where he tied the game in the seventh with a shot to dead center. On the first pitch he sees, he'll look at ball one outside, and we saw some two out damage on Saturday against the Brewster Whitecaps. And for the second time at Stony Brook Field, the Doors put up four runs in the top of the first inning. They eventually won that game seven to three. One zero misses upstairs, two and up. Andrew Pinckney Coming into today, hitting 227. That average just keeps going up. 12 runs driven in. He's walked four times and has struck out 27 times. On a 2 0 pitch, Pinckney takes strike number one. And Berkowitz's last appearance against these doors, it was June 30th at this park in that one to nothing game. He went three and a third and only allowed two hits across all those innings. He's allowed two already, so if the Doors want to jump on him, now's the time, and here's the hitter to do it. In the air to right center field, Rockefort going back to the wall, and he makes the catch. Pinckney goes to dead center again, but this time it's hauled in by the center fielder. Two runners stranded as we go to the top of the second inning, still scoreless.